It has just been discovered that the Arabian Peninsula had a unique construction marvel built thousands of years ago, predating the pyramids in Egypt. This was known as a moose tatil, which was different from the pyramids, shaped as a two-dimensional rectangle and had short walls and open courtyards. The people living in the Arabian Peninsula commonly constructed moose tatils, as over 1,600 of them have been identified in Saudi Arabia today. But despite its common occurrence, the purpose of moose tatils in the ancient world still remains a mystery. It seems that the mysteries of the past are slowly being uncovered by scientific surveys and excavations done in recent years. A group of researchers from Australia, Saudi Arabia, and Switzerland has been investigating a 7,000-year-old moose tatil to determine its purpose. The site was apparently used for cult sacrifice and pilgrimage and it may have served various functions throughout the years as indicated by animal bones, ritual stones, and human burials. So today, we're excited to share news of a groundbreaking discovery in the Middle East that has stunned the world and left scientists scratching their heads. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Revolution! Before we start, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. The city of Al Ula in Saudi Arabia is encircled by the remnants of mustadils, which are also found in other areas of the northern Arabian Peninsula. Mustadils come in different sizes, but they all have the same characteristics, which are two lengthy walls that run alongside each other with short barriers at opposite ends. The typically narrow entrance leads to a spacious courtyard, while the head of the monument has chambers. Most tattles were built with different materials such as basalt and desert pavement. People have documented these structures since 1970s, but scientists have only started studying them recently. Thanks to the Saudi Royal Commission for Ai Ula, which was established in 2017, the Mustadils have been subject to large-scale surveys and excavations, including the one in the new study. In addition, the funding provided by the commission has made these research possible. An archaeologist named Melissa Kennedy from the University of Western Australia excavated a Mustadil located 55 kilometers or 34 miles east of Al Ula. A 2021 antiquity paper reported some early findings, including a sacred stone called a batil and numerous animal bones. However, there were still more undiscovered discoveries in the walls. This site contained cattle, sheep, goats, and gazelle skulls and horns, all buried, all buried around the batil. The researchers concluded that the animal remains were used in a ritual sacrifice, which was likely related to ancient religious practices involving berils. It appears that only the bones from the skull, which encases the brain, were chosen for sacrifice. Horns were also frequently buried. However, no teeth or jaws were discovered during the excavation. According to Kennedy, one of the most unexpected discoveries was how the remains were prepared as offerings. Kennedy also said that some horns had only the keratin sheath preserved, while others had both the bone core and sheath preserved. It's unclear why they were prepared differently, but it's fascinating that they weren't all the same. The rituals that took place at the Mustadils are poorly understood, and written texts are not available as they predate the earliest written language by thousands of years. According to Kennedy, discovering ancient settlements nearby could offer insights into the Mustadils. No settlements connected to the building of the Mustadils have been dug up yet, and this may have additional hints about the methods employed. However, more excavation and research are required to learn more. In addition, numerous moose tattles appear as solitary areas, with those in Al Ula being distant from recognized settlements during that era. Therefore, it is hypothesized by the researchers that these sites were possibly pilgrimage destinations for religious rituals. When animal sacrifice was performed at the moose tattles, the climate in Arabia was dissimilar from what it is today. You see, 7,000 years ago, the Earth was in the Holocene humid period characterized by increased humidity and rainfall in the Arabian landscape. 
The most tattles might have been built near water sources, such as wadis and playa, indicating a potential connection to water. Sacrifices to the gods could have been made during drought to request more rain. However, the purpose of the most tattles appeared to have changed over time. Recently, researchers have found human remains buried within the monuments, which was the first at the excavated most tattle, and more evidence has been found to support this claim. Kennedy says clear signs of sacrifice are seen in animal remains, but not in human remains. Furthermore, the burials of humans occurred about 400 years after the animals. Kennedy finds it surprising that these people dated much later than the most tattles and intentionally repurposed these structures. This indicates that structures can have different functions and meanings over time. The new report describes a single adult male, but various remains of people in different ages and genders have been discovered at most tattles. There doesn't seem to be a definite connection between those interred there. Kennedy thinks these sites remain significant even after they were no longer used, and subsequent generations buried their dead to establish ownership and a connection to the past. Furthermore, it was also in Saudi Arabia where a prehistoric city that was 8,000 years old was discovered in 2018. An 8,000-year-old settlement was discovered by Saudi and French archaeologists in a southwestern site in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Heritage Commission-led team unearthed the Neolithic ruin through laser scanning, aerial photography, drones, and other surveying methods. The Alpha archaeological site has already demonstrated evidence of a continuous trade network between the ancient city and the exterior world. At Mount Tuwaik's edge, the team found a stone temple and remains of an altar. According to archaeologists, these discoveries will enable a more profound comprehension of the prehistoric city's religious practices. 2,807 graves from different eras were discovered by the excavators. There were also devotional rock inscriptions to ancient gods like Kal adorned the ground. The foundations of an open-air courtyard, four monumental buildings, and corner towers were also found. In addition, these structures would have been linked to underground reservoirs utilized for agricultural purposes. Evidence suggests a sophisticated irrigation system featuring canals and cisterns was present in the city. It's believed that a continuous water supply enabled the city to thrive in a desert environment. Rock drawings located in the Two Wigs Mountains depict the daily activities of the city's inhabitants, such as hunting, fighting, and traveling. Alpha has been a fieldwork site for over 40 years, with previous discoveries including temples, markets, tombs, and residential areas. And this recent discovery provides the most comprehensive overview of the city to date. The recent discoveries in Saudi Arabia provide fascinating insights into the country's ancient history. The Mustadils and the 8,000-year-old settlement reveal the complexity and sophistication of the early civilizations once inhabited the Arabian Peninsula. Although much remains unknown about the purpose of the Mustadils, the evidence of ritual sacrifice and pilgrimage suggests a rich religious and cultural tradition. Similarly, the discovery of the prehistoric city provides a glimpse into the era's trade, agricultural, and irrigation practices. The findings could expand our understanding of the region's past and promote tourism and cultural exchange. As further research and excavation continue, Saudi Arabia is poised to become a major player in the field of archaeology and a valuable contributor to global heritage. So what do you think of these recent discoveries? Are you intrigued to know more about it just like us? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more interesting videos like this.